Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to explain uh, one of the important topic that is uh, call by value and call by address of C language. So after watching this video, you will get to know how these two things works in C language. So first I am going to explain call by value. So I am taking example of uh, swapping. So I am declaring a function. So here you can see return type of function is void. Its name is swap and it will be having two inputs as integer type for processing. After this, I am declaring name function. So first we are going to understand this call by value. So here I have two variables A and B. A is 5 and B is 10. Now I am going to print their values. So first this message will be printed before swap, then A equals to percent D, comma B equals to percent D, and then A comma B, their values. Then I am going to call the function swap and I am going to pass values of A and B. Right? So this is the calling statement. This is the calling statement and from here we are passing values of A and B, that's why it is known as call by value. And after this, I am writing printf and after swap, e equals to percent e, b equals to percent e, and a comma b. And then I am closing this. So this is the main function definition where I am going to call swap function. And after completion of main function definition, now I have to define swap function definition. So I'm writing that. So void swap in x in y and a temporary variable z. So here I'm going to apply the logic for swapping. So I hope you know this uh, swapping logic already. So this is some simple swapping logic that will change values which are available into x and y variable. So now let's understand how call by value works. So when we execute this program, so A and B will be having 10 and this output will be printed before swap A and B. So output will be before swap, it will print A 5 and B 10. So this output will be printed with the help of this printer. Now the calling statement will transfer control to its definition. So here we can see we are passing A and B values. So that's why this is call by value. So value of A will be passed to X, value of B will be passed to Y. So in main function A and B will be having separate memory blocks along with values. When A and B is, uh, when A and B are passed to X and Y, so X and Y will be having they are separate memory because they are declared with int data type. So x will be having 5, b, uh, y will be having 10 because these two variables as uh, these two variables are passed as input to the. So I hope you understood a and b having uh, their separate memory and x and y having their separate memory. Now we are performing swapping operation on x and y. So x will be 10 and y will be 5. So now think if I am changing value of x, so value of a will change or not? No, because there is no relation between a and x and b and y. So x is having uh, uh, its separate memory location. So it is changing its own value. Y is having its own memory. So it is changing its own value. So if we change x, so no change will be done on A. If we change Y, no change will be done on B. So after completion of this function definition, we need to print this printf. So it will print after swap A, A is 5 and B is still 10. So no change on A and B variable because 
X and Y are copies of A and B, and there is no relation between A, B, and X and Y. So this is the limitation of call by value. So you can remember one thing: if we change uh, variable values in function definition, so no change will be done on the caller of that function. So caller is main. Uh, main is calling the swap function, and swap is doing a change in its variable. So no change will be done. On the variable which are available inside main, right? Now, after understanding call by value, I'm going to explain call by address. So, while implementing call by address, you will see if I am going to change values of these a and b will be changed automatically. So, now to implement call by address, I'm going to use pointer. Because whenever uh, we talk about address, so automatically we need to use pointer because address of any variable can be stored in a pointer. So now focus on this call by address. So calling statement will be passing address instead of values. So I am putting this symbol here n percent a comma n percent b. So it means I am calling this swap function. And I am passing addresses of A and B variables. And if you want to store addresses, then you need to convert these variables into pointers. So this is X pointer, and this is Y pointer. So this time X and Y will not be having values of A and B. Instead, they will be having addresses of A and B. So I am changing this. This is X. This is Y. Let's say these are the beginning or base address of A and B. So X will be having one zero one, and Y will be having two zero one, right? And here we need to put this because whenever you have pointers, so you need to use this asterisk as value at address. So if I am writing asterisk as x, so it means value at address which is stored in x. So address is one zero one. So value at one zero one, which is five. So it means here you can see a and x both are linked together through addresses. So a address is available with x, b address is available with y. So whenever we change pointers with this. So pointer will actually change the values which are available on a particular address. And here also we need to put this int asterisk and int asterisk because here x and y data type is pointer. And now if I change the values, so uh, let's understand this. Z equals to asterisk x. So Z is a normal variable. It will be having asterisk x. So x is one zero one. Value at one zero one is five, so five will be stored into z. Then, if we solve this asterisk x equals to asterisk y, so here you can write it like this: asterisk one zero one equals to asterisk two zero one. So value at two zero one, so value at two zero one is ten. It will assign into value at one zero one. So value at one zero one will become ten. And Z will assign into asterisk Y, so asterisk Y means asterisk two zero one. So five will be assigned into a uh, value at two zero one. So it will change to five. So this concept is related to pointer. So to understand it more clearly, first you need to understand pointer, and then watch this video again so that you can understand how pointer works and how pointer change value of the variable whose address it is containing. So x is containing address of a, y is containing address of b, and with the help of this pointer uh, calculation, you can see now value of a is 10 and value of b is 5. So before swap, they will print a 5, b 10. After completion of this function calculation, a will be printing 10 and b will be printing 5 because this is the current plan. So through call by address, we build a relation between these variables and these pointers. So if you want to build a relation between uh, variables of two separate functions, 
like a and b are available in main and we want a relation uh, with this swap function so we created a pointer x and y and those x and y pointers are related to a and b so if we change uh, something through x and y so it means indirectly we are changing values of a and b so this way through call by address you will be having different values of a and b before calling the swap function and after completion of calling of that swap function so this way i hope you understood how call by value works and how call by address works so now i am going to summarize when to use call by value and when to use call by address so if you want the change that is done in this function definition if you want that change reflect on main then choose call by address and if you want that whatever you are changing in function definition that is separate to main don't reflect to main function then you can choose call by value so mostly programs you might have implemented through call by value because whatever change you are doing you are returning it to a, a variable and you are using return type here but in uh, in rare of the functions you will be using call by address as well because here you can see we are changing two variables and through function we can return only one variable right so if you want to return more than one values so you cannot do with this return type because it is limited to only one value then you can prefer call by address right so whatever change you are doing uh, in a function that is other than main and you want its reflect on main function variable then you can choose call by address so i hope you understood whatever i explained in this video and also uh, learned about pointer before understanding call by address so uh, if you want to watch uh, those uh, videos so you can go to description of this video and you will find links of various playlists along with this pointers in c so do watch them and thank you for watching this video